In January of 2015, the CSW MFT Board voted to discontinue issuing wallet cards. Licensees, employers, and insurance companies may verify a license by using the Board's online license verification. The printable verification is dated and serves as a primary source of verification updated daily by this Board. This video is to help you verify a license from the Board's website. From any page on the Board's website, over to the left, you will find the How Do I Find links. Scroll down and click on Online License Verification. This will take you to the Ohio eLicense Center. Scroll down to Select a Board. When you verify a license from the Board's website, the name of our Board will be listed. If not, you'll need to select it from the drop-down menu. You can verify a license two ways, by the license number or by the name. When searching for a license, it's important to not fill in both areas. During our search, I'll be using a fabricated name and license number. The license number and name Jim Ruff were created for demonstration purposes only. Let's scroll down to License Number. The first box is for the letter that comes before the license number. Now you can skip this box because it's not needed. In the second box, enter the seven digit license number. I will enter 1500004 and click the search button. The page reloads and you'll see the name of the licensee or a list of names to choose from. Now before we continue, I want to show you how to search using the licensee's name. Go to name, last first, enter the last name in the first box and the first name in the second box. When entering a last or first name, you may enter just the first three letters of the name. If you have a hyphenated last name or two last names, enter only the first last name. If you have two first names, like Mary Jo, enter only Mary. Now I've entered Ruff in the first box and Jim in the second box and clicked the search button. You'll see his name comes up twice. One shows he's received no discipline and the other one shows that he has received discipline. It also shows the city where Jim Ruff is located. Now let's click on the name with no discipline. The same page will show no matter which name we select. Discipline will show on all licenses Jim Ruff holds even if the matter has been resolved. Now this is the verification page, the page you would print. On it, you'll see the formal discipline information highlighted in yellow. If a licensee was disciplined on a previous license and then upgraded to a higher license type, discipline will continue to display on all past and future license types. The consent agreement is available here in this highlighted area. You may click on View Documents to read the consent agreement. Now this is a test page, but this is where you would find the consent agreement. From the top of the page, you'll see Name and Address. The name listed is the only name the licensee may use to practice in the state of Ohio. Below is the public address, which is not listed here, but is on file in the board's office. Under License and Registration Information, the credential number, or license number, is listed here. The license type is here. As you can see, Jim Ruff has had four different license types. The first issuance date is the date he received his license. The effective date is the date he last renewed his license. And the expiration date is the date he needs to renew by or the date his license will expire. Jim Ruff has only one active license. His other license types list upgrade, fail to renew, and expired. If you see a status type you don't quite understand, each are defined below. I hope this has been helpful. Please like us and subscribe for more videos from the CSW MFT Board.